so Rafa has said good news. He's coming back to play the EXO in Abu Dhabi in yep. December. Then he's going to play an Aussie tune-up before playing the Australian Open. What do you take from that? Well, that's great news. That's great news that he feels confident enough to announce that now, a couple months prior to uh, when things will get going down under. So we weren't sure how it was going to kind of end up with the, with the foot after the surgery. This is a, a problem he's been dealing with since childhood, and hopefully it's going to be able to, to sustain him now, this new uh, what a procedure that they yep. did on him and help him finish his career with good, with good health. Well, if anyone knows how to rehab from injuries, it's Rafa. Mm -hmm. He's done it so many times. It's a tough thing to have experience in. You know, tennis has filled the void so beautifully with some of these greatest all times being out the last couple months. But one of the things I so look forward to in 2022 is seeing how Rafa comes back and what his quality is. And can he win what would be 14 at Roland Garros? Mm -hmm. Yeah, still, still yeah. looking for 14 there and 21 overall right? at the Australian Open, the only place where he's only won, only won one <laughs> major, right? Yeah, but if he's training an hour and a half a day, by yes. the way, yeah. that's good news. And he beat the 97-year-old the other day. It, did he? Yeah, you it was sure one point. That? He won one point to none. I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, well, right now, it's still 2020, right? So we got Djokovic. That's right. We got Federer. We got Nadal. 2020. What do you think... Pam will happen to these numbers next year. They'll, they'll change for sure. Okay. Uh, Federer's will not. Novak's will for sure. I think he will get to 22 in 22. Uh, and Rafa, I think, will win one. And we'll save one for either Medvedev or someone who's never won one before. I think I think that's probably where the, the house money would lie. I think reasonable to expect that, that given where everyone is health wise, Federer doesn't seem like he'll be able to play in Australia. Most likely he'll try and target Wimbledon again if, if he's lucky enough with good health. And we certainly wish him all the best on that one. Nadal will be targeting Roland Garros and trying to round himself into form. So this is the point you're talking about. Did, did Rafa like hook him or something? I mean, <laughs> there's no way you're supposed to win this point if you're Rafa. This guy's 97 years old. This is my dream right here to be 97 and playing tennis. The oldest ITF registered player. That means he's played age group 90 and overs. Um, look at his footwork. Not bad. Has that old style. Not an open stance forehand. There's your one hander. Yeah. I mean, he's I, I rock the New Balance shoes. He's rocking them. There's a correlation there. The guy's got good tech. Oh, we missed too. it. That was that was the winner for Rafa. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just, we just missed it. It was a nice long rally there. Is that right? Yeah, okay. they just they stretched him out a little too far. Couldn't get to it. I, I'm just telling you, man, that guy is incredible. He is. Which one? Both. Yeah, both, both. both of them. <laughs> Jeez, what a dream. Excited to see Rafa back in Abu Dhabi. And then that'll give us a little more information yeah. about what Emirata he will do in Australia. Emirata is going to play in Abu Dhabi as well. We got, right. There's going to be a lot of good talent there.